check this out. You walk up to your front door, hands-free, phone still in your pocket, your doorbell recognizes your face and determines that your phone is within range. And without lifting a finger, the door automatically unlocks. While this may sound futuristic, you can actually do this right now with ADT's new ADT Plus home security system, which combines traditional security with the best smart home devices from Google and Yale. However, its standout feature is the new trusted neighbor service. Your network of neighbors, family, or friends can help you take care of your home while you're away, even while you're completely offline. With their new trusted neighbor feature, ADT is aiming to do more than just traditional home security, like protecting your home from theft, fires, or leaks. With the new system, they're creating a smarter, more connected home that helps you automate routines or address smaller issues that don't necessarily require emergency services. ADT Plus combines Google Nest doorbells, cameras, and smart displays like this one with its safety and monitoring sensors. The system provides real-time alerts for video monitoring and automation through Google's smart devices, along with ADT's own suite of sensors for motion detection, door and window movement, water leaks, and smoke and CO2 alerts. Beyond its security features, integration with Google Home allows you to control a wide range of other compatible smart devices like lights, locks, and room and temperature, all from the same app. This integration with Google Home has existed for several years now, but new for this year, ADT is introducing its trusted neighbor feature, which lets you assign specific roles to people that you trust, giving them access to your home in predefined situations. The idea is you want or need someone to enter your house, but only at certain times under certain circumstances. But how does it all work? The trusted neighbor feature uses Google Nest's doorbell facial recognition to offer hands-free entry, automatically unlocking its paired Yale Smart Lock. For example, you might want to grant access to your dog walker for an hour every Monday morning, or allow your neighbor to enter your home to put away a package once it's recognized on the doorbell. This access can be time restricted in increments of one hour up to 24 hours with the option to set notifications for both you and the trusted contact. It would be great though, in my opinion, if ADT added shorter time increments, say for example, five minutes or 30 minutes for simpler tasks like bringing the package through or watering your plants. They don't need that much time. Now, one of the key benefits with this system is that it eliminates the need for physical keys or shared passcodes, which can be easily duplicated or misused. Speaking from past experiences, I've had packages pile up while I've been out of town and the ability to just let a trusted neighbor in to quickly handle it would have been great. Testing this out, I received an alert when a package was sighted by the doorbell, and thanks to the flexibility of the system, my trusted neighbor could safely enter and bring everything inside. ADT's total safety package is modular, so if you want to add more devices or features later, it's easy to do so without a complete overhaul. Right away. And its integration with devices like the Google Nest Hub allows you to monitor your system through voice commands or touch controls. You can ask Google to show you the front door camera, lock the back door. But of course, if you're already using Alexa or Apple HomeKit and you're heavily invested in those systems, the Google-centric nature of ADT Plus may not be for you as it lacks compatibility with those ecosystems. Now, let me show you the hardware I've got set up. Front and center is the Google Nest doorbell. It's the first line of monitoring, detecting strangers, packages, deliveries, and even recognizing those familiar faces. Inside, there's a door sensor that detects when the front door opens or closes, and on the left side of that door is the ADT touch screen. This display gives me a quick view of the system's status and lets me arm or disarm it in seconds. It's clean, modern, and it blends in with the rest of the setup. Above the door, there's a motion detector that covers the living room and kitchen area. On my living room bookshelf is the Nest Indoor Camera. It's small and discreet, but gives me full visibility of the key areas in my home, even in low light. Underneath that, we've got the massive Google Nest Max display, which ties everything together. It lets me check on my cameras, control my smart devices, and see and respond to alerts. And in the kitchen, I've added another Nest Max, mostly for music and following along with the recipes while I cook. And while it's not directly tied in with the security system, extras like the Google Nest thermostat can be bundled together with your ADT package since it's so well integrated with that Google ecosystem. In the hallway is the main ADT Plus hub. This acts as the brain for the whole system and it's got a couple of unique features. Aside from having the keypad and function buttons for arming and disarming the system or calling emergency services like the police, fire, or paramedics, the idea with this is that it can be moved to any central location in your home so it can reach and communicate with your other ADT sensors without having dead spots. The hub's other main function, which you'll never really notice unless you're checking your notifications in the app, is that it's responsible for updating the other hardware remotely. Now here's one of my favorite parts. Everything communicates 
wirelessly. And aside from the ADT display, which just needs a few screws to install, the whole system is very renter friendly and modular. For someone like me who likes to move around a lot, having a security system that is this flexible is a huge plus. Finally, there's the ADT smoke and carbon monoxide detector, which will automatically notify emergency services if triggered and the water and temperature sensors to warn you about frozen pipes and leaks before they turn into disasters. One thing to keep in mind is that ADT Plus isn't the cheapest home security option out there, but you're paying for a full service package that's deeply integrated with Google's ecosystem. For most people, the front door protection package can be a great entry point. It's usually priced at $718, but is currently available for $359. This covers the basics and includes the ADC base, motion detector, door and window sensors, the Yale smart lock, and of course, the Google Nest doorbell. The total safety package bumps things up with additional sensors, an indoor and two outdoor cameras. That one is currently listed for about $823, which is a decent deal considering all the additional hardware you're getting. Beyond the upfront cost for hardware though, you'll need to factor in the price for professional monitoring, which starts at $44.99 per month with a minimum one month commitment. This plan also includes access to Google Nest Aware, which would typically cost $8 a month on its own. So if you already use Google Nest products, this might feel like a win-win. That said, before deciding if ADT Plus is right for securing your home, there are a couple things you should keep in mind. First, just like with a lot of other home security companies, ADT's hardware is proprietary. And so with their sensors, their base, you won't be able to move it to a new service if you decide to switch. That said, if you do want to switch, you can continue to use all the Nest hardware, including the cameras, the displays, and the doorbell. And if you want, you can subscribe to Nest Aware if you want to have that extended video playback. But maybe even a bigger point than that is even though the system can be completely hands-free to re-enter your home, you might not want to keep it that way. By default and recommended by ADT, the system will actually send a notification to your phone asking for confirmation before unlocking the door. And while that does kind of take away from some of the magic of this system, it does give me extra peace of mind knowing that it's not going to misidentify someone or get spoofed. And because this feature is still in beta, there's of course gonna be room to improve, but also I'd imagine over time, potential vulnerabilities that could be found. So keeping that extra layer of security is probably the way to go, at least for right now. On a positive note though, the core functionality of your ADT Plus trusted neighbor system continues to work just as well, even without facial recognition. You'll still be able to grant control and secure access to your home. Your neighbors will just have to use the app in order to auto unlock your door when they're ready to enter, which again, I think is a smarter choice. But let's ask the real question here. Is a system that depends on other people, no matter how much you trust them, worth potential risks? You're essentially handing over control, albeit selectively and securely to others. If you have a solid network of people that you can rely on, ADT Plus offers incredible convenience and peace of mind, which could justify the additional costs. But it's also important to ask yourself if you're comfortable with the idea of external help having access to your home. The balance between convenience and security is delicate. And in the end, it's all about how much trust you're willing to invest both in your neighbors and your technology. But let me know what you think about the brand new ADT Plus trusted neighbor home security system with facial recognition being such a core feature. Is this something you'd add to your home today? Thanks for watching. Till the next one, catch you later.